Hello my lovely SSMians, how are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and lovely as always. This is Sheetal Sapan Matre, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a pick a card reading on all about your money scenario in the next three months. This uh, was one of the most requested uh, reading in on my Instagram channel. So as always, every week I put up a post, a poll rather, in which you get to choose what will be the topic of the pick a card reading. So most of you had chosen the topic with regards to money. So let's get started. We have three options over here. Option number one is this beautiful rose quartz crystal. Option number two is this amazing amethyst crystal. And option number three, we have green aventurine crystal and a gold candle. So you can choose any option that you are drawn towards. In case if you're confused as to what option you should choose, so you can take three pieces of paper. In, on each piece of paper, write number one, two, and three. Just say, dear God, God is Archangels, how my finances are going to be in the next three months. Close your eyes, pick up any one number, whatever number comes, that's going to be your pie. Pretty simple but pretty interesting. So today's pick a card reading is going to be a bit detailed one. I will be mostly using uh, oracle cards, angel cards and certain uh, uh, you know, different uh, papers as well. It's going to be super interesting and of course we are going to use the wheel of fortune as well. So let's get started. Hello group number one. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and amazing amazing as always. Today's pick a card reading has been chosen by my Instagram channel uh, members wherein I had posted a poll as to what on what topic should I do a pick a card reading and almost everyone voted for money. So I thought let's figure out how next three months your money your finances are going to be all right so let's get started you have chosen this beautiful rose quartz crystal clearly you have a connect with archangel ariel you use a law of attraction to manifest your finances and you're quite particular about uh you are quite money uh, money i won't say money minded but you are money mindful okay it's uh, you have come up the hard way i i'm getting the vibes of a self made person and uh, you're somebody who believes in creating your own path now let's see what your cards are going to tell us okay i'm going to remove more cards all right First, let's see how your finances are going to be in the next three months. Okay. We're also going to see uh, what you should keep in mind with regards to finances in the next three months. All right, and let's see the blessings in terms of finances in the next three months, okay? Now, let's go ahead. We'll see first card. You have got the page of wands. So, there is going to be a very exciting new beginning happening in the next three months. There will be this entire action, adventure, creative approach when it will come to your finances. There will be good news regarding money. Uh, you will try and explore different avenues to earn more money. However, uh, be careful and take calculated risk. I also feel some of you uh, may travel for work okay that's what i'm getting with this card 
that's your next card wow the seven of pentacles so you are going to focus on savings in the next three months you're going to ensure that you you are going to invest and save and manage your finances you will be very mindful of uh, spending money unnecessarily you're going to focus on uh, finding out methods to multiply your money as well there is a weight involved with regards to finances in the next three months as well wow you have got the emperor this is so interesting let me connect the cards and explain it to you in some time but before that let's see the emperor this card is telling you you are going to manage your finances pretty well there will be an authority or a powerful person that you are going to deal with and this powerful person is going to bring in an opportunity with regards to money you're going to be extremely organized with regards to your finances now let me uh, join this cards for you okay so you will begin your journey in the next three months as a page okay now uh, as you can see in this card page is a very young person who is new and uh, who is kind of exploring okay so you are going to explore something with regards to your finances and then you're going to be patient and and you're going to nurture it, okay? So whatever idea you're going to get over here, you are going to work on that idea and you're going to be very patient about it. You're not going to be in hurry, okay? An opportunity may show up and you will nurture this opportunity and not just dive into it headlessly, okay? And because of your patience, you are going to turn into an emperor. All right. So in the next three months, a, your journey from page to an emperor is what will happen. However, the this the middle link is very important. You have to be extremely patient with regards to your finances. No hasty decisions, no uncalculated uh, risk as well. Okay. So this is what your cards are telling us. Now let's see what you need to be careful of in the next three months. Six of Pentacles. Here you need to be careful of being overly generous. At times we just don't manage our finances. We spend it unnecessarily or we give it to people uh, who, who are not trustworthy and thus regretting it later. Or it may so happen that you may do a work and you may not charge for it because you feel, you know what, let me do it for free. So this is something that you need to avoid. Being generous is good, but being naive is not. All right. So ensure that when you are uh, giving money, okay, whether it is expenditure, whether it is charity or whether it is spending, do not do it mindlessly. Okay. Be mindful, be aware and then take action. Okay. Let's see what is a blessing coming your way. Page of cups. So definitely an uh, a very an emotional good news with regards to money is going to happen in your life you are going to have this uh, emotional new beginning with regards to money i also feel very clearly that you're going to create something with regards to money so when i look at the page of wands and the page of cups clearly there is a message with regards to money and opportunity with regards to money and uh, it is going to be a creative opportunity all right this is so beautiful i also feel with the with both the page card there is going to be somebody young who may help you okay to increase your finances to earn more money as well or money coming via a young person okay all right now let's see your oracle cards okay so i want to remove your oracle cards i'm going to remove your blessing card as well the loving man all right so here you had the emperor who is who i won't say a very loving man he's somebody who believes in structure and order 
However, the page of cups has got this energy of love. So, and uh, with the six of pentacles as well, I feel there is definitely going to be a man who is going to guide you. All right. And this loving man is going to bring in an opportunity. This opportunity will be very emotionally fulfilling for you with regards to money or this loving man may gift you some money as well. Okay, so since there are many people watching this video, uh, to each its own. Okay, let's see your next card. Fork in the road. So there are certain important decisions that you will have to take. All right, now if you look over here, even this this card if you look okay there is a path and there is one more path like this and one more path like this and this person is kind of taking a decision whether he should go this way or that way similarly fork in the road over here also so you are going to be on a crossroad wherein you will have to make really important decisions the criteria that you have to take care is that you are not going to be foolish with money, okay? You're not going to just give away that money, okay? What you deserve, you are going to ask for it, all right? So clearly, a lot of important decisions that you need to make and this decision should be based on the fact that whatever you will put in, you are going to get it multiplied and you need to be patient about it, all right? That's important. So clearly certain important decisions that need to be made. Okay, let me keep your card over here. Goddess of the moon. So when you are doing all of this, okay, this important decisions, this money multiplication, clearly you have the goddess of moon by your side. This goddess is going to give you guidance via your intuition, uh, via your creativity as well. So listen to this goddess, okay, and just don't write it off, okay. I also feel some of you have connect with uh, Goddess Parvati, all right? Okay, block out distraction. So as you can see, okay, over here with these three cards that we saw clearly, here is this person on a crossroad who has to make important decisions. This person makes these decisions based on patient and um, rewards which will come in a very uh, precise and a very planned strategic way and because of which this page turns out to be an emperor and when this process is happening what is this page doing this page is blocking out distractions okay whatever these distractions are you need to block it out so that you are focused and you are like the seven of pentacles making money and uh, this distractions could be uh you know, at times when you're being over generous, when you're not mindful of your own needs, your family needs, that can also affect your finances in a negative way. So this card is telling you to block out people and distractions who are not going to contribute to your financial story. All right. Let me keep your card over here. Okay. Let's remove your next card. Crown Chakra, so as I said before with the Goddess of the Moon card, that you are going to get a lot of downloads via your ideas, divine guidance. And uh, you will also get answer to your prayers via your Crown Chakra through ideas. Or at times you would just be sitting in your car and looking outside and suddenly you get a message in your uh, head that hey look at that billboard and you look at that billboard and it there is this blessing coming your way and you're like okay what about this and your mind tells you, you know what that's a sign so your crown you'll get a lot of ideas via your crown chakra pay attention to it do not just write it off distant horizons so uh, money coming via people who are or uh, opportunities that are a little further away 
as i said you may have to take important decisions with regards to finances which may involve getting in touch with people who are far away or traveling to some place far away as well this is what your card is telling us now let's see your other cards let's see the blessings coming your way with regards to finances of course we'll also see your orange card i just thought let's do this reading a little different okay so you already got one let's remove your yellow cards okay this card just fell i'll keep it over here let's see your white cards okay let's also see what you need to surrender in order to become an emperor from a page okay all right let's see all of this one by one let's see what you need to surrender surrender the habit of people pleasing and this is what you got with the six of pentacles okay this is what you need to be mindful of stop people pleasing because you may end up spending a lot of unnecessary money just to please people okay which doesn't make any sense all right so surrender that habit of yours and serve yourself before you serve others life purpose you need to focus on your life purpose as that's going to give you lot of financial rewards all right that's your other card jealousy gossip slander stay away be honest okay so stay away from all this drama because that's going to distract you and you did get the card block out distractions okay so you need to block out distractions so that like especially like jealousy gossip slander uh, you know if somebody is slandering your name or gossiping about you just just don't give energy you keep on doing what you do best and your work will speak for itself or you your your actions will speak for itself okay let's see the other cards career new job department change new project promotion so definitely a growth in career if you're a business person it could mean growth in business if you're retired or a homemaker somebody around you who is who contributes to your finances will experience this and in turn you will receive the same benefits out of it body changes okay so uh, as we saw from page to emperor okay that shows wisdom all right so uh, there there will be an important milestone that you are going to achieve in the next 3 months and that's going to be wisdom and this body change uh, with regards you know uh, to our maturity and uh, that's going to help you further i also feel again the body change could also be for me it means maturity okay with since we are doing a reading regards to money and this maturity is going to bring in more finances gifts and blessings isn't that beautiful so a lot of blessings and gifts coming your way which in turn will in, improve your finances okay travel as i said before also that yes you are going to travel and this travel you got the card of distance distant horizon some of you are going to travel maybe to a spiritual place maybe to a place of work and this travel will bring in more abundance in your life a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship now uh it looks like now let me explain this card with regards to your finances and we're talking about all all about money so it looks like you know you are feeling that you have to take all the burden with regards to finances or you were the one managing everything okay and you somewhere felt that you know wouldn't it be nice if i could get some respite uh you know wherein i could just have this flow of abundance in my life wherein i can just sit and relax and enjoy the financial flow as well so that's going to happen with regards to your finances since you also got the card of gifts and blessings okay now let's see what your 
oracle card is going to tell sorry what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us before i spin the wheel let me tell you i have an upcoming goddess lakshmi workshop it's a pre-recorded workshop and it is going to help you with regards to getting the blessings of goddess lakshmi who is the goddess of fortune wealth in case if you want to know more about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences and to avail the early bird offer click on the link given in the pinned comment now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us about your question so think about your question and let me spin the wheel for you you got soon so whatever you asked for the answer is soon so group one i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel do share this uh, uh, this reading with your friends and family remember this is a timeless reading so whenever you see this reading from that day to the next three months also if you want to be a part in deciding what next topic of pick a card reading is going to be you can join my instagram channel where we are a family of 29000 people all the links are given in the description channel right now we have free navratri rituals going on you can you can see them follow them and bring in more uh, goddess blessings into your life all right group one please take care of yourself lots of love to you thank you so much take care bye bye hello group two how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking and amazing as well today we are going to see all about your money for the next three months this was a topic which uh, my instagram channel broadcast members had selected if you want to be a part of that you can join me on instagram wherein we are a family of 29000 people okay so let's see about this crystal that you brought so when i hold this crystal i'm getting that you are praying you're really trying to trying your best to be calm about your finances yes there have been certain issues that you have been facing with regards to your finances it looks like earlier the financial flow was more and now it is a little less however you are not panicking you are trying your best to be calm and reminding yourself that this too shall pass all right let me keep your crystal over here now let's see your cards one by one okay this is going to be a detailed reading my friends so you're going to use angel cards tarot cards certain more insights from different different pay, uh, uh, papers that i have made okay finances in the next three months right we'll then see what you need to be mindful of what you need to be careful of and blessings that are going to come your way in the next three months okay so this is a timeless reading whenever you see this reading from that time to the next three months okay let's see your cards one by one seven of cups so yes in the next three months you need to be careful to not just make palaces in the air you need to take action as well you will find yourself confused and you may seek clarity with regards to what you need to do with regards to your finances it is quite a possibility that you may be contemplating between opportunities or between investments or you may just think too much there is overthinking that can be seen with regards to your finances however it's important that you get out of the illusion you have got the strength card so definitely group 
do you have the goddess durga energies with you archangel ariel energies as well so both archangel ariel and goddess durga are blessing you now this card is telling you that there is going to be abundance and this abundance is a reward from the universe for the strength that you have shown the inner strength the perseverance that you have displayed when things were not that great for you all right especially at the big at the beginning of the year let's your next card the emperor even group 1 got the same card so group 2 you have got two major arcanas okay the strength and the emperor so clearly emperor talks about power and strength also talks about power but strength talks about power with humility power with love as well okay so definitely in the next 3 months you are going to be super organized about your finances you are going to be associated with somebody of power and because of which you will get this inflow of abundance coming in your life all right now when i look at this card what is interesting is first there is this confusion okay now if you look at this two cards there is this confusion this lady does not know what she should choose and from being confused to being strong to taking back her power to understanding that she can manifest whatever that she wants with her own strength okay so from confusion to not only clarity but strength and from strength to becoming more powerful okay that's going to be your journey in the next 3 months all right now let's see what you need to be mindful of in the next 3 months seven of pentacles wow <laughs> so you need to be mindful of thinking evaluating processing and then taking action you need to contemplate and then act no taking impulsive action no impulsive spending no uh just you know going with the flow without without having protective gear to save you from to save you from the tide all right so being patient with your finances is going to be very very crucial okay let's your next card this is a blessing coming your way so the blessing coming your way is ace, ace of pentacles which means with regards to money new opportunities gift from the divine coming your way with regards to abundance so there the divine is going to give you an opportunity and this opportunity will require nurturing all right and it may so happen that you may feel a little impatient okay as you can see you know over here if you see this particular person has got a coin okay and then this person goes and put this coin on the tree okay and is waiting for it to kind of uh, grow more okay and multiply so there is this patience that is required so you may feel lack of patience all right so avoid that however with strength and the emperor card it looks like this new opportunity that is going to come your way you are going to make the most out of it group 2 you have got lot of beautiful cards okay strength emperor and the ace of pentacles all right which is just beautiful you have got two sevens over here which again talks about following the right path all right now let's see what your oracle cards are going to tell us okay so before we begin i have this goddess lakshmi workshop and this workshop will help to connect with goddess lakshmi is a goddess of wealth and fortune to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences and to also get the early bird offer you can click on the link given in the pin comment now let's see your cards deception so now yes now this deception could be because of your own mind playing games with you or this could be someone okay so yes when you're going to get this flow of abundance somebody may try to deceive you 
because they'll see that oh this person is having this abundance this opportunity so let me take advantage of this person so do not do that okay don't let don't let anybody take advantage of your abundance uh, by taking you know by fooling you okay with, by showing you they don't have enough they need your support and then taking what you truly desire uh, deserve okay all right milk and honey so again milk and honey talks about lots of abundance prosperity uh, coming in your way in the next three months and this milk and honey this abundance is going to be very very fulfilling for you and it looks like you have really waited for the same the temple path so clearly this abundance okay may lead to confusion as well because some people may try to send jealousy your way or negativity your way so it would be a good idea for you to follow the temple path which is the right path and also to pray to the divine so that you are in the divine's protective shield okay i also feel that you have been doing a lot of prayers and rituals and the result of these prayers and rituals is going to be this amazing growth in terms of finances exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities so this uh, the, this card is telling you that you also need to develop your physical strength so that you can enjoy the finances that is going to come your way and when i look at this card only with regards to money over here i can connect it with the strength card so what is card is telling you that you need to make your finances strong so when this inflow of abundance is going to come your way you're not going to think how you will spend this money you will first think how will you save this money and multiply this money okay and then you can definitely look into how you can also enjoy this money okay but first keep a portion away to save to invest to multiply and then you can look at how to spend the goddess oh my god i feel group 2 you were confused between group 1 and group 2 or if you were do see group 1 as well so clearly you have the goddess blessings with you all right the goddess is blessing you the goddess is nurturing you and the goddess is blessing you with abundance so this goddess that you pray to is with you protecting you shielding you and is showering huge amount of blessings on you message of concern so yes there would be certain message that will kind of be a little surprising for you however don't let it deceive you okay there are a lot many fraudulent messages coming you know like uh, click on this link your income tax has not been paid and all that so don't fall into that trap all right um do your research see the authenticity and then act all right now let's see what blessings are going to come your way what you need to surrender blessings coming in group 2's life with regards to finances okay we'll see what you need to surrender in order to have good finances let's see your yellow cards okay this is popping up okay let's see a white card all right okay and orange card this will kind of give us an insight okay let's see them one by one pay on time so please do not delay anyone's payment okay because that's not going to help you when you delay somebody else's payment 
the inflow of money towards you also gets delayed so pay on time you got karma please pay attention to your karmas okay do not deceive anyone because that may not help you be very honest transparent and create positive money karma all right by following the right path vehicle and moving on so some of you may buy a vehicle or you may need to service your vehicle in the next 3 months some of you may also do road travel or you may just plan to move on to a different place or uh, you know a different place altogether formality authority legal work okay so a lot of paperwork happening in the coming 3 months with regards to finances and not surprising you did get the emperor in which i did tell you that you will be interacting with authority all right okay let me keep the card over here all right now let's your next card good bye so definitely uh, there there is going to be end of one chapter in your life which is this confusion energy and there will be new beginning so good bye to the old and hello to the new clearly okay let's see what you need to surrender surrender your addictions all right so whatever you are addicted to whether it is substance food people or overworking or physical relationships heal yourself okay and replace it with healthy alternatives see addictions not only lower your energies they make you more prone to uh, negativity which is not a great idea as it lowers your vibrations okay let's see the blessing coming your way a blessing of forgiveness all right so either you will forgive someone or somebody else will forgive you when you forgive someone or when somebody forgives you there is this release of karma there is this um lighter energy that you are vibrating in and this lighter energy makes you attract more abundance in your life all right now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 2 and let me spin the wheel for you you have got between maybe and wait okay now though your cards did explain why there is this maybe or wait let's still figure it out why is there a maybe and a wait okay clearly you need to declutter your surroundings all right you got uh, maybe and wait because whatever you asked for a lot of other people are in what it is just not with regards to you there is this uh, huge phenomenon okay which is this global phenomenon that is going to affect your dream or desire so that's one reason one second you need to reach out to more people for whatever you asked for it to happen that's why it's a maybe wait all right group 2 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you want to be a part of the decision makers as to what the next pick a card topic will be you can join me on my instagram channel where we have polls every week and when you help me to decide we also have a in on my insta we are a group, we are a family of 29000 people we also are on facebook where it's an 81000 people and yes of course we are on youtube so do hit this do hit a like button and do subscribe to my channel if you are guided i have also shared lot of free rituals okay all of those free rituals are given in the description columns this the rituals that i have shared are very potent and have helped many people you can read the comments of those rituals to know how you can also experience those 
miracles and of course i have this goddess lakshmi workshop lined up you want to be a part of it and know the earlier participants experiences or to just avail the early bird offer you can click on the link given in the pinned comment take care bye bye hello group three how are you guys doing i hope you're fine amazing as always so you have chosen this lovely gold candle and this beautiful fluorite crystal yes i did by mistake say said green adventure in the beginning of the video i'm sorry any which way so let's go ahead so this fluorite green fluorite crystal is going to bring in lot of clarity lot of um, you know somewhere i feel that you have been really kind of taking each day as it comes it's like you know uh, you just feel that you know whatever i'm going to think it's not going to happen so why even waste time just let me go with the flow however with this gold candle i feel that there is going to be a lot of opportunity coming your way and interestingly that was somehow the theme of the earlier two uh, groups as well any which way so you are you know going to get clarity in the next three months and this clarity will lead to prosperity is what i'm getting when i'm holding uh, your uh, whatever options you have chosen now let's see your cards one by one all right group three finances okay this just flew right okay i'll keep it aside as a guidance group three is finances in the next three months what you need to be careful of and blessings okay all right so let's see your cards one by one you have got the knight of pentacles which means with regards to your finances you are going to experience slow and steady progress it's important that you do not get so obsessed with perfection that you miss your deadlines ensure that you are finishing your work on time and uh, at times you know uh, too much perfection is not a good idea especially if it is going to delay your projects okay you have got the devil card clearly do not fall into temptations there will be temptations that will uh, try to entice you do not fall for it ensure that you are following the right path and not taking shortcuts plus stay away from addictions like overspending or impulsive uh, spending as well you have got the ace of pentacles so clearly there is going to be a new beginning with regards to your finances this new beginning is going to bring in lot of abundance interestingly you have got two pentacle cards which talks about money and both the cards knight of pentacles and ace of pentacles are excellent with regards to finances they show a stable growth however it is with the devil card which means if you play your cards right if you are mindful of your spending of how you manage your money it will lead to a positive financial growth okay now let's see what you need to be careful of eight of wands so again here uh, i have removed this card with regards to what you need to be careful of so eight of wands with regards to that question means haste makes waste okay so again impulsive decisions uh when you're not thinking through and just taking action and then regretting so ensure that you're not taking any of those okay also travel only if necessary okay if there is no need for you to travel just avoid it okay the blessing coming your way is balance so even though the challenge is 
uh, haste and uh, uh, impulsiveness, you are going to balance it out with harmony, peace and thoughtfulness, okay, with the temperance card. Clearly, you are going to balance things out. That's the blessing coming your way. Now, let's see what the other cards that you have got. You have got first the King of Pentacles, okay? Which means that a man is going to help you with regards to your finances. Also, this card just flew, right? So, you have got the Knight over here and the King. Which means from Knight, you can go to the King. Okay, you can progress to the King provided you take it easy and don't make haste. Alright? So, definitely a man is going to help you with regards to your finances. You have got Ace of Wands. Which means new beginnings creativity action you have got two aces ace of pentacles and ace of wands which means definitely there is going to be a very exciting new beginning however don't get carried away okay you have also got the ten of wands which means don't take unnecessary responsibilities and burden at times we tend to take we don't delegate and we take that extra work all right or it also means that you will be so obsessed with perfection that you will unnecessarily stress yourself out so it's important that you understand where to draw a line between perfection and obsession all right so that you can not only relieve your stress you can also enjoy life and work balance all right let me keep your cards over here let me just shift them a little bit up all right okay so when i look at your cards in totality you have got three pentacle cards and four wands okay so a lot of action taking place in your finances in the next three months you have got this one major arcana card, which is the devil. So be careful. Don't fall into temptations. However, the rest looks pretty good. Now, let's see what your oracle cards are going to tell us. I've already removed them. Let's see them one by one. Okay. You have got the sacred temple. So you are someone who prays a lot, who believes, you know, that with hard work, it's important to combine with divine grace to optimize your luck, all right, which is amazing. And uh, also, I feel with the devil card, some people may feel jealous and send you that energy. However, if you keep your connect with the divine, you will be in the divine shield, thus being protected. Some of you may even visit a temple in the next three months, which will, or a spiritual place in the next three months, which will kind of boost your finances, okay? You have got by the book. So please ensure <laughs> that you are not breaking any rules in the next three months, especially with regards to your finances. And you are playing it safe. Okay, that's going to be important. You're not creating any negative karma and following the rules and not twisting it and turning it to fix your agenda, which may not be that great. Okay, yin and yang. Again, it talks about balance, which we get with the temperance card as well. So that's the, you're going to balance giving and receiving. You're also going to balance your life. And who is going to help you to do that? The angels, okay? And your faith in the divine is going to help you to follow pathways that can create a lot of um, balance, okay? Let's see your next card. You have got clearing debts. So, the next three months, you are going, you will have an opportunity to clear your financial debts, emotional debts, and your karmic debts as well. So, don't take any shortcuts, all right? And ensure that you strategize how you will plan your finances in such a way that you will manage your finances pretty well, lowering the debts or clearing the debts and increasing your investments and savings. All right, let's see your next card. You have got release, okay? 
so whatever it is that is no longer serving you okay whether it is your self doubt whether it is addictions whether it is negativity or toxicity let go of it and live your life purpose to the fullest all right so that you will experience um the fulfillment that you will get by living your life purpose oh, all right let's your next card high honor so definitely in the coming 3 months you are going to receive appreciation and your when you, when you read this card with regards to your finances it means growth in money okay so definitely there is going to be growth in terms of money however don't fall for the devil or take shortcuts very clearly now uh, let's see what your other cards are going to tell us we're going to see your blessings what you need to surrender before that let me tell you goddess lakshmi workshop is available if you want to uh, enroll in it know the earlier participants experiences you can avail the early bird offer and uh, see how it goes and connect with the energies of goddess lakshmi who is the goddess of wealth and fortune all right now let's see the blessings coming your way in the next 3 months I feel that somebody has also humiliated you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But you need to surrender. Okay, let's see your cards. Your cards. All right, this kind of just decided to. I mean, let's pick. Okay, this just fell. Let's take this. You can also get your white cards. Hold on. Okay, let's see your. Okay, let me just take this. Okay, let's see all the cards one by one. ask for help you did get the uh, hold on where it is you did get the 10 of wand cards which talks about wanting to do everything on your own and not asking for your help not delegating so please ensure that you ask for help and delegate what you what you can do away with all right receive be open to receiving okay be open to receiving see as i always say in all my videos receiving is one common energy so if you don't receive money you're blocking yourself from receiving compliments receiving love receiving harmony all right and receiving blessings in general volunteering and charity so yes you are going to do a lot of that in the next 3 months and that's going to bring in a lot of abundance as well because of the blessings that you're going to receive just ensure that you are keeping away from the devil energy by not talking about it by not showing off on social media support see again you have got support so please next 3 months get ask for support you don't have to do everything on your own you if you have a team don't sit and do their work let them do their job and if they're not doing their job properly then sit with them and tell them that that is what what is expected out of them don't sit and do their work if you're a homemaker or if you're a retired person or if you're a student and you need support ask for it just don't be like you know what let me not ask for support because of a b c reason all right trust and faith everything is going to be all right and everything is going to fall in place do not worry you got emotional wisdom and maturity so yes next 3 months you will find not only your finances increasing you also find that you and your approach to us finances will be more uh, sorted because of all the wisdom and maturity all right uh, i 
here I want to share something with you. In my description column, I have shared links to various rituals, okay? And uh, you can read the comments of those rituals in which people have shared their experiences that they have received after following the rituals. So you can also click on any of the ritual that is going to serve your purpose, okay? Let's see what you need to surrender. Surrender to complete healing. At times, you know, when you take, when you come, when you're done with your work at the end of the day, you should completely keep that aside and focus on healing and resting and rejuvenating. If you're going to clock off work and then keep on juggling between rest and work, rest and work again, then how do you refresh yourself? All right, how do you heal yourself? All right, at times, even if you love your work, you need that some time off, okay? There has to be that time off when you switch it off and switch on the self-care mode. So surrender to complete healing as that will bring in more abundance in your life. A blessing for unity where once there was a division. So... If you have been experiences, a lot of disharmony in your finances, that's going to get sorted out. And how is it going to get sorted out? Because of all the ideas that you are going to receive from the divine, clearly you have connect with, um, I'm getting this moon energy, all right? I'm also getting Lord Shiva, Goddess Parvati as well. So you have a lot of uh, the divine presence around you and this divine presence is going to help especially to improve your finances. All right. Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question group three and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got a no. Now let's understand why is it a no? Why is it not uh, yes, if you wanted to hear a no, go then then you just don't bother with this. Okay, let's again feel the no is because of self doubt. Okay, oh, you got the hanged man. The no is because you need to have an out of box approach. Okay, there is something that you need to let go so that you are more open to receiving blessings all right that's what this card talks about all right group three i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel uh if you want to be a part of uh what next bigger card topic should be you can join me on my instagram channel we have polls every week and also we are a family of 9,000 people on Instagram and on Facebook we are 81,000 people. So join me over there as well. Right now free Navratri rituals are going on in case if you want to receive them. Or you can be a part of my WhatsApp broadcast list, my Telegram channel as well. And um, yes, do visit the... Uh, goddess lakshmi workshop link and explore the topics the early participant experiences and of course do not miss the early bird offer take care bye bye